What up, everybody, and welcome to Baz on Blades. My name is Baz, and I talk about blades. And tonight, I've got a few products out of my shop that I'm putting up for sale. Uh, you've already seen in the title exactly what's going on. I've got a new media stand for cell phones and tablets uh, that I'm going to put up. Uh, it turned out awesome. I even hate to let this one go. And we're going to do a price drop on the Baz on Blade Slim Persuaders that I put up for sale the other night. I got a lot of feedback back on these Slim Persuaders, and basically I can boil the feedback down into one sentence, and it is, are you effing crazy, Baz on Blades? That's too expensive. Okay, I get it, guys. It's too expensive. I knew it was going to be expensive up front. Uh, but you got to do what you got to do. We're going to drop the price on these. I need to sell them. They are prototype pieces. And um, you know what, guys? We're going to roll the funds over into other stuff in the shop. Uh, so I've got to sell them. So we've got, um, let's bring the uh, Slim Persuaders out here first. We got the, uh, I've got one here. It's a 20 inch model, uh, the 20-inch model in uh, Flame Maple uh, with the, walnut core on it and it is i mean you guys saw it in the other video uh, these are just incredibly incredibly figured pieces of wood uh, these are heirloom quality pieces um you know what it's it's sort of hard to sell these because uh what they are the slim persuader you know a self-defense tool impact tool um you're really probably not going to carry a piece like this uh, maybe i should have done the prototypes in some plain wood uh, people will be more inclined to use them but i had this killer uh, flame maple set up that i i wanted to use and it is killer killer wood uh, again, this is the 20 inch model in uh, flame maple over walnut. All right. And then we've got the 22 inch. And both of these are equal quality as far as the figuring on the wood goes. Uh, they're both uh, a museum grade flame maple, guys. Uh, there's no, no doubts about that. They are fully figured from end to end. Uh, no voids uh, at all. Both of them do have a matching bead that is on it. Um, as I do on a lot of my wood products, I've always done matching beads. The bead is cut off of uh, the piece. It's just the end to cut off, so it's absolutely the same wood with the same character. And uh, here we've got the 22 inch. Uh, I was selling these for $110 shipped. Uh, within the continental United States and yes to whoever it was that I left out as far as the Hawaiian Islands go uh, Yes, I do realize the Hawaiian Islands are part of the United States. I just misspoke um, What I should have said there was um, The shippings included on these in the continental United States Shipping is additional going to Hawaii. It's a, it's quite a bit more expensive and I will not be shipping these outside of the United States uh, because of what they are and there's so many different international restrictions for anything that could be perceived of as a weapon. So we're going to drop the price of these from what I was asking $110 shipped down to Let's take $30 off of it, guys. Let's go down to $80 even shit. There is only two of these available. And um, you know what? I may or may not even make any more of these. I'm not even sure, guys. Um, if there's not any real interest in it, then I can turn the wood into something else. Uh, because we are talking about nearly two feet of very expensive wood here. So, a uh, price drop from $110 each shipped to $80 each shipped. And uh, you know what? Just hit me up at the Baz on Blades at Gmail account, and uh, we can hash out the details on that if you are interested. Thank you very much. 
now gets let's get along to this new piece here this cell phone media stand um, this one is so awesome looking uh, of course you can see the top side is walnut let's take a look at this walnut guys uh, it is a beautiful 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 dark wood there's the end section all right you can see the center section here is a laminate of flame maple and with a walnut stripe plenty of contrast between this really dark walnut and the very light maple and then the bottom of it is in flame maple guys look at that look at that it is beautiful beautiful wood beautiful wood all right now what is a media stand bazon blades well it's it's just a stand for your cell phone i've got a a cell phone here and that's a galaxy phone you can see it stands up in it uh, you can use this for your cell phone in a horizontal or a vertical position uh, I do have the width of the channel set where it'll work with quite a few different phones and cases. Uh, the thicker it is, the straighter up it's going to stand. Um, let's get the camera. Let's bring the camera down right here and get sort of a look at it down here close. You can see right here, and again, this is a, a Galaxy I don't even remember. I think this is a Galaxy 4 that I had put away uh, when I bought my newer Galaxy phone. But you can see right there, and it's, um, you know, it's, it's tilted back a little bit there. And again, you can see the channel is plenty big enough to accommodate um, thicker phones, thicker cases. Um, it is weighty enough to where you could use it with a pad. Uh, although you're not going to go anything super big with it, I wouldn't think. And um, this is, um, it's a pretty, pretty impressive looking piece. Uh, now the first one I did was in flame maple top with a figured walnut bottom. And it looked really good. But this dark walnut looks so good with this light colored maple. And uh, I apologize for the lighting, guys. I, I'm just not getting... Maybe that's a little better on that center section. You can see it's flamed. All right. You got a nice... I, I included this knot here. I didn't cut it out. And you get some movement around it on that walnut. You got a nice gloss finish on all of it, guys see that flaming really nice on the edge of this maple here again you've got the flame maple bottom does have the rubber feet on it guys rubber standoffs and um, this we're gonna say $40 shipped on it um, if you've got somebody now this I'm gonna tell you right now or the two slim persuaders would make killer Christmas presents. I know it's a little early, but it's time to start thinking about that. Um, killer Christmas presents. This media stand, if you've got somebody in your family that works in an office and has a desk that they're at day in and day out, they work in a nice office, um, for people in those positions, the things that are on your desk matter as much as uh, the things that are in your pocket to EDC type of people. Um, you know, when it matters what type of knife you have in your pocket or multi-tool or, or whatever your EDC carry is, uh, to the people that sit at a desk all day, the things that are on their desk matter just as much. And this is a furniture grade uh, piece of work right here in very beautiful wood and uh, it would look fantastic on anybody's desk um it would make a great present i'm, I'm not gonna lie to you guys it would make a great gift for somebody uh, that you want them to have something they can uh, enjoy the look of and the use of uh, in their office 
uh, or you know anybody that you think would be interested in something uh, that that is that nice. No, it's not a cheap piece of plastic from Walmart. You know, I've I've had people say, well, bands on blades, I can get a plastic stand from Walmart for nine dollars. Why should I pay forty dollars for that? Well, why would you pay um, sixty or eighty? thousand dollars for a bmw or a mercedes when you can spend twenty five thousand dollars on a honda or a toyota it's the same thing guys why would you spend four or five hundred dollars on a knife when you can spend ten dollars on a knife at a gas station same thing there and i know you know somebody that would be really, really interested in a beautiful piece of work like this. And guys, I, I know I sound like I'm bragging about this stuff, but um, when you spend as much time working on something like this as I do, when it turns out really nice, um, I've got to do a little bragging on it. I've got to do a little bragging on it, and I've got to, I've got to ask uh, what it's worth for it. You know. So we've got the media stand in Walnut and Flame Maple for $40 ship. There is only one of those. I do not know when I will make another one. Uh, we've got the two Slim Persuaders in Flame Maple and Walnut. Also, this is the 22-inch version. And then we've also got the 20-inch version. And these things are just solidly, tightly figured from one end to the next. There is no void of figuring in these. That's the 22 inch version. And then we've got the 20 inch one here. Look at that. Look at the way that flame moves. Yeah, 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 yeah. I did that guys. I made that son of a gun right there. Now I didn't make the wood of course. Uh, Mother Nature made that wood, but I did make the Slim Persuader. So, uh, $40 for the um, media stand that is shipped within the lower 48 um, outside the continental USA will be additional shipping. Uh, the Slim Persuaders, we've dropped the price from $110 to $80 shipped on those. Again, they will be restricted to the United States. Uh, shipping included to the lower 48. If you are outside of the lower 48 within the United States, you, there's going to be additional shipping on them. I can't help that. That's just the way it is. So there you go, guys. Uh, I hope you like them. I hope you want them. And I hope that the price drop is more fitting uh, to what uh, you find it worth in them. Remember, Christmas coming up. Any of these would make a fabulous gift for somebody that appreciates fine wood products. All right, as always, thank you very much for taking the time to watch one of my videos. God bless all of you, and we will talk to you again.